I'm back again, this time ranking the Mario Kart items from the entire series. So we have a lot of items here, and I will talk about things here in just a moment. But first, thank you for coming to my video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like. Subscribe if you don't already. You know how it works on YouTube by now. You don't need me to tell you. Um, but let's talk about them. Um, first of all, you'll notice I have an area called Secret Goodies. Some of these are exclusive to Mario Kart Double Dash, or some of them are arcade things that I just don't know. Like, I don't know what this thing even is. Uh, the coin block, which just gives you multiple coins. This is a bomb blaster. This is a banana barrel. This is a bubble. Um, the chain chomp, I don't really remember that well. Um, and I don't remember the heart. So I'm going to put them in the secret goodies tier. And we're going to make that a nice dark color so we don't have to think about it anymore. But let's get to the actual rankings, which uh, go from goodbye to not good to good to great to get in my box. Oh, geez. Look at that. So I'm going to change to good not. There. That way we know. Anyways, let's start us off. Um, oh, is this the is this a different banana? We have two bananas here. Is, is one of these the big banana? Hold on, I, I kind of uh, banana. The, the, this one's like the giant banana, right? From uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah, I can rate that one. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the normal banana. The normal banana is a tried and true friend for all of our time, honestly. Um, and I think it's a good item. Um, does it have a lot of power of attacking? No. Does it it serve as a as a as a protector against shells? Yes. I, it's it, it, it's it is probably the average item in the entire Mario Kart lineup. So I'm gonna put put it there. The the Mega one is a little bit better from my from what I remember, just because it does take up more space on the track, but it is harder to hide. In fact, I'm gonna put it into the same tier. Happy banana and mean banana, they go right next to each other. Now, blooper. Blooper covers enemy screens with ink. And as long as I've played Mario Kart, the times it has inconvenienced me, I could probably count on one hand. I'm going to put it into goodbye. Because when I get it that, it doesn't really help me. Blooper doesn't help me. I don't care about it. Um, single green shell. Single green shell is okay. Um, I'm going to put it into good. Um, well, I'm going to put single red shell into great. Uh, and similarly, I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade each one of them by one, uh, for, for their, their triple varieties. Cause triple red shell, that's a big difference maker in, in a Mario Kart match and, and a race. Um, and, and the triple green is one of the best defense items there are in, in all of Mario Kart. Um, but as a homing weapon, it's great. And I think I'm happy with this. Next is the venerable blue shell, which I'm going to put into great, honestly. Some people are like, well, it's the best item in the entire game. So you should go up here, right? I don't know. As this we're rating of how much I kind of enjoy them, um, the blue shell, I don't know. Sometimes it's not that it bothers me. It's like, oh, it, it hit me while I'm in first place. I'm very upset now. I don't know. It just never really vibed with me. I don't know. It, it, I never got like I, it. Never like made me feel like oh, I, I'm a. This is a disaster. It, it, it's more like okay, thank you game. Uh huh. And and when I when I do throw it, I don't get the satisfaction when I'm in like last place because it's like yeah, I'm gonna throw the blue shell. And I know it's gonna hit the first place person, but I don't know. I don't get to see it. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't inspire the moment of impact like hitting someone with a perfect red or green shell does. I think the ba bomb is a not good uh it, it, it's useful and it's a, a perfect like area of effect type of trap kind of like the 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 air horn here which i'm going to bring up now and to put into good because while this is a good area of effect around you this is an area of effect behind you that you kind of have to time and if and you can hurt yourself with your own your own bomb especially if you throw it in front of you it's a very dangerous item I would much rather have a different item than the ba bomb. So I'm going to put it into not good. I'm going to put the air horn into good, especially because it is the only defense against a blue shell. I'm going to put the boo into goodbye. I don't like getting a boo. Um, actually, we'll put it into not good just because I don't like getting a boo because I, I feel like it's just wasting my time. I feel like it's a disadvantage to get a boo. I'd rather just get the item that I was going to get from the boo. You know, I don't care that somebody else doesn't have the item. I, 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 I don't think the tr time trade off of having to send the boo and wait for him to come back is should is as impactful as 
give me the item, you know? I could probably do more of it faster if you just give me the item. Um, the boomerang also goes into not good. It is a very useful item because it has multiple throws. Um, but as an aiming weapon, it's very hard to aim. Um, I feel more comfortable with a green shell than I do with a boomerang, honestly. Even if I only get one shot with the green shell, I don't know, it feels more comfortable to being a Hail Mary. I feel like the boomerang became almost a... I don't know, baby mode, green shell teaching moment for a lot of people. I don't know, not a huge fan. Here is the Bowser shell, which is get in my box. The Bowser shell is only in double dash, and it's basically just a huge green shell. It's huge. It's massive. They're one of those on Baby Park. It's all over, dude. Love the Bowser shell. Now, Bullet Bill. Now, that is a Mario Kart item worth recognition it just tears through everybody and it gets you to the front. It has, it fixes the problem I have with blue shell where when you launch the blue shell, whoo, it goes away. Yeah, it hits the person front, but you never see it. With the bullet bill, you feel the impact of it You getting back into the race. It's a great item to get in your box late in the game. Now, Thundercloud has not been seen in some time. I believe he was exclusive to the Wii version an amazing item. The um, while you are have the cloud, you are going to get a little bit of a speed boost. All right, sounds good, right? But the problem is, it is going to zap you. It will zap you eventually, and the only way to do that is to bump to get rid of it is to bump into somebody else. They'll get the speed boost, but they're also going to be the next one to get zapped, and they have to pass off. It's a hot potato item. Hot potato in Mario Kart is a fantastic idea. I'm sad it hasn't come back. It goes there. The coin, it goes in not good. The coin, no, it goes in good. Um, the coin helps you inc increase your, your max uh, speed or max acceleration. I forget which. Um, and the, the cool thing about it is it, it does add a little bit of an extra strategy to Mario Kart where it's usually just ride around. But I don't know, when you, when you pull that one up in your item box, you're like, these things are littered everywhere. Why do I care about it? But it goes in good because it does have a positive effect. And it's a, it, it's a good Mario Kart mechanic overall. The 8. And I'm going to bring up 7. So uh, Crazy 8 and was it Magical 7? Was it Lucky 7? Lucky 7. Crazy 8 and Magical 7. Uh, basically, it's give you a conglomeration of different items. Um, and they're both great for that reason. It's a kind of a smart item to put into the game. Um, I, they don't get to get in my box because, I don't know. They're like, they, I think they're a little bit too powerful. And sometimes you just get them and you just press the button. It doesn't work out for you all the time. Controversial one right here for y'all. Uh, upside down, the, 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 the fake item box. People think it's the easiest item to avoid in all Mario Kart on the tracks. I love placing. I don't care if it actually hits anybody. I love it. I love placing them like right behind a normal item box. I don't know. I really like the fake item box. I don't know why. I think it's a cool item. If you're an experienced Mario Kart player, no problem to avoid those dogs. No problem at all. Feather, I don't even freaking know what it does. I played Mario Kart 8 my entire stupid adult career life. I, this thing, I, I don't know. Wait, let me, I'm gonna go, I have the wiki page open up here because I had to look up some of these ones that were stupid down here. Where is it? The Feather? What do you do? What the heck do you do, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Feather? High jump in the air, useful recovery item. With used defensively against shells and bananas, you can hop over green shell. I hate that. I don't know. It's stupid. Bad item. Don't want it. Fire flower is good. It's kind of like the. It's kind of like the boomerang where. You just kind of get multiple throws of a of, of one item. But what's fun about the fireball is you don't have to wait for the boomerang to come back. So with the fireball, you just... And, if, and what I like to do is I like to do a little spread maneuver like this. It covers the whole track in front of me. Get some fellas. We're going to do a throw behind me. Great stuff. King Mushroom. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to put Normal Mushroom into good as well. Just generally good items, you know. Average bar, around the level banana. What is, what is, what is, what do you do?
do? What do you? The, the little, it gives you like the little twirl, right? Is it, and the twirl can like uh, it's in Mario Kart Seven, right? It can let you twirl uh, go this way, right? Throw a tail, pressing a button while you swing a tail, use to break stuff. Eh. I'm going to put it down here because, man, I, I got shells for that. I, it, it's a defense item. It's a defense item. Apparently, I can get some coins out of some, some nearby players, but I don't know. I don't care about that. It's a defense item. We got plenty of defense items. The Almighty Thunderbolt. I'm going to put it into great. The, the Almighty Thunderbolt is a great offense item when you're far behind. Um, not quite as powerful as... I, 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 why I like the Bullet Bill more than the, the Lightning Rod is... When, with the bullet bill, you can avoid. Somebody can avoid the bullet bill. If if you, if you know the bullet bill is coming, you can kind of like get off the side of the street, dodge it. You can't dodge the the stupid uh, lightning bolt. If it hits you, you're dead. You, you shrink in size to suit your mood, and it just doesn't work. The mega mushroom was also from Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Wii, uh, and it lets you just like get big and and triumph over people. It's not that good. It's kind of uh, it's kind of lame. Piranha Plant, also, not that good. Doesn't make me happy. It attached to the front of your cart. It is useful for um, chomping uh, shells and stuff away from nearby players, but uh, nothing to write home about. I'm going to put the, the triple mushroom into a great the king mushroom. Uh, Pow Block. Kind of affects people around you, right? That's good. That's fine. And Starman, get in my box. Always good to see a Starman. Speed increase plus an excellent defense item. I'm happy with this. In the goodbye tier, we have the blooper and the feather. And in the top tier, we have the triple red shell, Bowser shell, bullet bill, lightning cloud, fake item box, and the Starman. I'm happy with this list. If you disagree, let me know in the comments because I know you will. That's what they're there for. I appreciate you all. I really do. Have a wonderful evening. Or night, day, whatever. Oh, shoot.